Welcome to ZombieChickenTaco.com. My name is Chris, or X8105. You can find me in the forums. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Radiant and some of the basic fe features to get a lot of you noobs out there uh, mapping and at least making some boxes that you can um, at least shoot a zombie in or two. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the 3D and the 2D view. Right-clicking moves you around. Right-clicking moves this around. Uh, scroll wheel will scroll you in and out. I don't use scroll too much in the 3D view. I'd prefer to move around. But to make it create a brush, you simply left click and you put that on the screen. Now, to change views, what we want to do is hold the control button down and hit the tab button. Control tab will flip that to your left, right, and top view. If you look at the top left hand corner, you'll see the XY top. That'll show you that you're in your top view. Also, the Z axis here will show you that that's top view as well. It's your Z up axis. And then you've got a front view, side view, and top view. That's just switching views. Something you might also want to consider is when making maps, you have a distance in which you can see things in your 3D view. To adjust this uh, this distance, and hit Escape to deselect. But to adjust this distance, you're going to hold the Control button, and you're going to use the bracket key. The bracket key is the key is right above the Enter uh, with the little squigglies. Holding Control and the right bracket will extend your view and control on the left bracket will reduce your view. This, has, this is great when you start cluttering your maps with lots and lots of things. <coughs> now, once we've got an item placed on your map, you're going to hold the shift button and left clicked on it and it will take your brush and it will... <coughs> it'll take your brush and select it. You can left click and move that around. The backspace will delete that. The escape key will de deselect. Uh, once you have that item, you hit the space bar, that'll duplicate and clone. This is great for prefabs or dealing with path nodes, sometimes lights, just depending on how many lights you want to put in your level. And you can do all sorts of arrangements with these. I would usually use one brush for this whole, uh, for this whole piece here, but that's just a good instance to let you know how to duplicate. Um, once you've got a brush down in your 2D, 2D view, you can extend that brush and create a little bit larger size brush by left clicking outside of the range of the brush and extending that out. Now you can left click and move this brush around as well so you can get a good um, positioning on, on your geometry. If you hit the 1 key, that finds that your grid is at a, has a much, much lower, much lower grid. You have the 2, 3, 4. 5 and 6. You can skip, extend that out quite a bit. Uh, 4 is the typical one that you want to use for laying out the basics of your level. Um, a lot of people have a real problem trying to decide what they're going to do or what they're going to create. What The best way I, I've usually found to do level design is, is using real life reference as, as a mapping point or a starting point did that with bunker, did a little bit with basement, had to scale basement down quite a bit because of some of the limitations with the engine. But um, to do this, it's really simple. You all should know that Internet Explorer or Firefox and Google Images is probably one of the best tools that you can use. Right now I'm going to be working on a crypt level or a, a graveyard. So some of the things you can do, you can actually do a graveyard search in Google to get kind of an idea of some of the the different arts pieces of art that people have put together and we're looking at stock photos to 3d animation to I mean just people's different drawings you click on the on the link there and brings up the graveyard JPEG save it in a folder if you have to but it's pretty nice one see how these crypts are set up I really like that one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click copy image or right click save image as. I like to copy it and throw it into Photoshop or MS Paint or something. Um, go ahead and save this in my zombie chicken taco reference folder. Save it as graveyard 01. I know that a lot of people um, just jump into mapping and start throwing out uh, different pictures and uh, not picture uh, geometry just start, start throwing out geometry and kind of make it as you go I learned the more old-school fashion in going to 
your Photoshop, or actually pen and paper. Edit that out. What you do is creating kind of a rough, a rough idea of your map. A lot of times I'll come in and design an area that I want. I want a battlefield or play area. And then we're going to have the outside areas, pretty much a detail area. Um, then you want to start off by what kind of structures do you want in here. See mine, I want the graveyard to be yeah, here with the fence. And I was actually thinking about putting a comet in here, a comet explosion, and kind of crater, and it came off this way and it landed this way. Probably do some of these in a little bit different coloring. Do the comet landing. I want some cool little effects on there. I want some flaming effects coming up. And, and I'm not using my Wacom tablet right now, which I would highly recommend as well. So, kind of a base idea of what I want to do with the map. And, and, and I'll line it out. What do I want here? Um, I want some some concrete walkways coming off this way, and a concrete walkway coming off this way, so on and so forth. We've got a crypt here, crypt here, and see all of this this paper design portion of it is is crucial. Uh, is crucial to your level development. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna stare at your map and you're and you're gonna go, what the heck am I doing? Uh, I've done it many times, many 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 times. So the best way is just to do some sketches. Draw a little skull. Get pissed off at yourself because you don't know what you're going to draw. That's pretty much the uh, crappy, crappy lesson one that uh, we're going to stop with right there.